Hello everybody and welcome back to another Lego related uh, review. Uh, I am a parent and uh, as a parent my responsibility is to look after my child. Now like many children of Sammy's age he is afraid of the dark so I thought rather than buying him just a toy I get him a toy which is practical which of course brings me on to this product, the Lego LED light. Uh, as you can see, the front of the box there, we've got a 1978 style Lego Spaceman, now very, very well known to children as Benny from the Lego movie. These retail at around $24.99. We got this one from Toys R Us. Now, my logic behind getting this is uh, Occasionally, Sammy will wake up in the middle of the night and he's scared. His uh, light kind of goes out and that's that. And then he wakes us up and then we comfort him, etc, etc. Now, the idea behind these LED lights by Lego is that the child is pretty much in control. They can either use it as a torch or you have it as a night lamp, which lasts approximately 30 minutes and obviously then relights itself once the button on the Benny character is pushed. Now there are different variations of this light, uh, obviously he loves Benny, so this is the one we went for, but there are, uh, I think it's Batman, there's a Batman lamp as well, but of course that is a little bit more expensive, retailing around $29.99 due to the DC licensing. Opening up the flap on the front we can see the base that uh, Benny stands on, the um, it's kind of a clear plastic so the light should shine through that. You've then got the helmet at the top here, you've got his kind of jetpack oxygen tank next to him, and of course you've got the Spaceman character with his waving hands. <laughs> uh, just take a look at the top of the box, we have a sleeping child up there, brightly lit up by the LED light. And in the corner there, we've just got a very small picture showing that the light can be directed, which is great. Taking a look at the back of the box, we can see we've got uh, batteries that are included. That is three times AA batteries. You just place them in the back of the character. He then put his jetpack on, his head on, his helmet on, and he stands on the base. As I said, you can point the light in the direction coming directly from the foot. You've got two options uh, as a torch or as a 30 minute timer. But less about the box, more about the toy. Let's get it out and take a look. Here we have the base. As I said earlier on, it's a clear plastic base there. So when the lights shine through that, this entire section will light up really, really bright. Uh, this whole section just turning it over, we've got the uh, rubber grips on the bottom here, which will stop it from sliding when it's on the uh, chest of drawers or your bedside unit. And on the front there, we've got this uh, LED light sticker. Now, I wouldn't mind replacing this uh, myself with like a sticker that says Benny or something like that, because uh, I know this is a 78 Spaceman, but Sammy sees him as Benny from the Lego movie. We also get a helmet. <laughs> practically identical to the original 78 uh, helmet. It's just really upscaled and a little bit thicker and yeah, <laughs> it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's a really nice bright blue space helmet for your Lego figure. Oh, this brings back memories. It really does bring back memories. You get his oxygen stroke jetpack thing. I've got a very small paint blemish on mine. Other than that, it is nigh on perfect. Big, huge, chunky monkey pack. Now, in case you do need to change the batteries, which, might I add, are included in this product, um, I've probably picked the very worst screwdriver I could uh, get to do this. You just need to... <laughs> I think I found this screwdriver in a cracker. Um, very manly screwdriver. If we just uh, undo the battery section, obviously you have to... Uh, have all the accessories detached from the main torso to be able to get this back section open. Otherwise, it is completely covered by the uh, oxygen tanks. Now, once it is open, you can just hook behind the screw and pull this section open. Um, they've got these green uh, kind of power plus batteries in here, but any AA batteries will do as long as you have three of them. I think I've got a load of... Uh, Kodak ones, something, but obviously other brands are uh, available. You then just need to pop this section back in using the tabs 
and tighten up the screw and then we can get Benny's kit on. First of all, let's quickly take a look at the articulation on this guy. It's pretty much identical to that of a uh, normal sized Lego figure. The head does rotate fully all the way round. His arms go up and down. Now his little claw fists, they do swivel just like a normal Lego figure. <laughs> his legs can go out, up, down, he can do the splits. Uh, but of course there is no uh, detaching at the waist section there due to the battery and light mechanism stored within. Now to get the backpack on you have to pull the head up. Now it does require a little bit of force just to get it over this very end nubbin, like so. Uh, just be careful, keep removing this because uh, it is a fairly thin plastic on the neck here and I can see that kind of getting stressed over time. You then get your backpack oxygen tank, pop that over the neck joint like so, push it down, and then you can bring your head back on and it just plugs in and clips on tightly like so. You then grab your space helmet and plug it on as if it were a normal sized Lego figure like that. And there we have him. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, he's gonna love this. He's gonna absolutely love this. Here we have him standing proudly on his base. Oh, this is a fantastic figure, absolutely fantastic. Now obviously the options are, there's a small switch on the back here. If you pull the switch down, that turns into a 30 minute timer. Um, so you can press the button and the light goes on, stays on for 30 minutes. If you select up, it turns it to a torch. Now he can either just press the button and hold it in and the light stays on, but when you depress the button, the light goes off. Now we can pull the figure off his display stand, like so. And we can put one of the uh, legs up, and because we've got two separate LEDs, you then have a directional light function. So if you wanted to point it in a certain direction, uh, say he wanted to face it towards his Lego collection, for example, you can do. Or if you wanted to use it as a double torch, again, he pulls it around in his bedroom and he shines at what he wants to look at. So you know, I think that's a really, really nice touch. And of course, you won't waste the batteries because as soon as you depress that button, the light goes off. Now, if we go back around to the switch again and we select the 30 minute timer, you can then come around and press the button on the front and now the light will stay on. The light does stay on for 30 minutes. Of course, if you go in and the child is already asleep, then you can just reach in and press the button on the chest and it then turns the light out instantly. Now, it's not picking it up brilliantly on camera, but it is a fairly bright light on this figure. And I honestly think this is money well spent. I can't recommend this enough, guys. Lego can't seem to go wrong at the moment. Everything is indeed very awesome. <laughs> For myself and the 1978 Spaceman inspired Lego LED light. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, goodbye.